all right so let's continue our discussion here so now before i select add to cart button uh, let me get the count of this products in different way without depending upon this visible um, property we know that when we give dot product we also getting invisible property which is located somewhere here right okay so now i will try to explain a parent child chaining okay we will do that concept now and with that we will be able to get only the required products what we are looking for instead of getting the products from entire page just follow my lecture by end of this lecture you will understand what i am trying to deliver here okay so basically if you move your cursor here on class equals to products you can see that complete product list is being selected okay so earlier we were just asking to get me the dot product and then five elements are matching one element is somewhere on the top instead we want to focus only the products right so first of all we will gather the parent object class equals to products then the four complete this block will be highlighted okay inside this parent we will ask to get class equals to product then it will verify only inside this block it will not check outside of this parent block now let me show another example okay so east visible only four products are displayed earlier when i remove this visible we have one more product as well here isn't it now first i will say element dot cy dot get i will get the parent products dot products so when you say dot products you see that one element matching which selects the entire product list here now dot inside products if if i say dot find there is a method called find in cypress okay so if you read the description of that find method it says get the dom descendant dom elements of a specific selector so that means for this specific selector get the child dom elements so now whatever css selector you provide here the scope of search will be under the products only now here when you say cy dot get dot search hyphen keyword it will check entire page and it will try to look for this edit box called dot search keyword but when you give this find method after get so this will not find in entire page this will look only in the dot products so when we say cy dot get dot products which we gave here and hit and enter the scope of this web page have decreased to this block isn't it so we have given same css here and it was selected this particular block which you can see here now on this block when you give dot find then search scope will be inside this only now when you say dot product when you give dot product find now it will search for dot product inside this products list okay the scope will be only inside this so that you will get only four earlier you were checking in entire page so there is one more invisible one which is locating on the top but now you smartly selected where is your target first of all you selected your target parent by using cy.get.products so that this block is selected and you are applying search now on that block instead of entire page that you can do if you chain 
another method called find on this get so that search will be on the get only which we call this as a parent child chaining and now when you say find it will return some length right that length you can say should have length sorry four so earlier when we tried dot product should have length four we got an error saying that there is five products and one of them is visible so now i have changed strategy of finding it instead of directly finding i have selected a main parent where i want to look the products on that again i am firing find query to search inside and let's save this test and open the cypress it's trying to execute now again you see that it passed now it have successfully selected four matching elements only the same step when i gave earlier asking to get the dot product it gave us five and you can check get when you do get it has selected the whole block which you can see it here thereafter when you do find again out of whole block it has selected this four products because now search is in inside the scope of this get only obviously there is four and there is no awkward finding which we saw earlier because of scope we changed now let me quickly show something this is what we did earlier right and let me put length as a 5 same thing dot product dot product save it and then execution will begin again nice you see that now it's five products this is something selecting there but why this is not selecting now i hope you understood the reason so that's how scoping changes if you do with parent dot child this will be eliminated now because of first you are asking to check only in this block. This is more important and we will do this uh, parent child chaining frequently in our test. Okay. So in real time also when you are working, you will come across all these. All right. Now next one. We know that it retrieved four products, right? Now out of the four products, I want to click on add to cart button for the second product. So how can I do that? So basically I need to click on add to cart carrot. Let's see. So same step again. Get me the whole products out of which get me the four products list. And there is a method called eq in cypress in this method basically if you pass index you see that if you pass index right now it is written four and if you pass get me the second product out of four products which is written okay so now you are control by writing this step your control will neatly move only into this product. You got it right. It's self-explanatory. So it returns four products out of four. Get me the second one that can possible with the help of EQ method. And you can read more description here. A number indicating the index to find the element within an array. If you have four in that array, you can retrieve one of the element by providing this method. Now, when your control got moved you can do show highlight and hide highlight so it will come out of that highlighting mode now when your control moved into this product now you want to click on add to cart button it's very simple you know in cypress there is a, again one more method called contains this contains method will take input as one text 
and it will search for that specific text let me show you once you got the second product dot contains and read this get the dom element containing the text so now whatever text you pass inside this contains method cypress will try to search that particular text okay now i i am targeting to click on add to cart button isn't it so i will take this text now what happens firstly if you simply write like this cy dot get sorry cy dot contains add to cart it will totally find four add to carts on the page okay it confuses but now smartly you have first eliminated invisible part and retrieved four products with this step and out of four what it have you pulled only second product and when you say contains this contains method applied on this second product only so that's why i'm saying parent child spinning chaining now scope of this dot product will be inside this dot products list and now the second index whatever you pulled will be this one right and now if you apply contains on top over this second product the scope it will search on the second product only so for the second product there is only one add to cart button so cypress will move into this button now if you say dot e3 cypress will actually fire this contains add to cart um method on this third product only okay its scope is on its parent not on the globally but when you start like this cy dot contains then it will search in entire page okay so keep it to so what we need to do after cypress found it you need to just click on it how do you click c l i c k that's it self explanatory this is how you click and if you want any information you see when you start typing um you will get an, an enough information about how to write click method here perfect so now let's run this test and see if it is successfully clicking add to cart button and cart you see that um yeah sorry it starts from zeroth index this is first index and this is second index so capsicum added to the cart so you can verify that either by selecting this you can see the capsicum is already added to cart but at the same time if you want to know how it happened you can have a look get and it have selected the products and when you said eq you see that only capsicum is getting highlighted because of 0 1 and 2 index and thereafter on that product you said add to cart so that that button itself selected and then click where it is clicking focus on the red icon okay cypress is clearly telling where i am clicking before this is the screenshot after clicking on that it changed to added that also cypress captured for us so that you can debug and see if everything went fine or not okay so this is how you can smartly select one add to cart button when you have multiple in the page so the concept what you need to take here um when you see an element with multiple places on your page first of all you have to select strategy to select that instead of blindly going with an x path now for example without doing all this as well now let me do one thing hide highlight so that you will be back open selector playground and spy this and that's it this is the unique css okay when you try to copy this is the unique css selector cy dot get which will click on that product called capsicum that's fine 
you can do simply this step without doing the concept of parent child chaining by get find contains but problem here is tomorrow if you feel that uh, products have been increased and if one of them are in disabled mode this css confuses you are saying nth child 3 but if there are two more products added and if they are in invisible mode so this breaks so that's why do not rely on this always you can have this css selected here but most of the times use the core concept of automation tool and you see it here you understood what is get get will fire on the browser find again will find on the sub browser what get written and top over it you have uh, eq to pull out specific value which array got written again top over it you have contains method to search so this is an ideal way to make your script stable and with this lecture we understood three methods contains equal find and obviously get nice so let's continue in the next lecture we are still not done i'm still not happy with this because right now we were just hard coding the index what if i want to just click on capsicum tomorrow it might be in another index right i am simply saying that click on second index but four more products are added and capsicum went into fifth index and if i specifically want to click on capsicum index every time um if more products are added this will break so how to dynamically click on a product with its name without depending upon index we'll see that in our next lecture thank you